how do we approach our projects, yeah, Justin? Yeah, we didn't really think about it. Yeah. Well, I was just trying to take a B-reel of you putting your shoe on, and then I was going to pan to the canyon. You're taking your sweet-ass time putting that shoe on. Okay. See, it's like, oh, we're climbing, they're putting on shoes. Wait, what? A canyon? A road? All right. Um, <laughs> new project. So what is this one called? 40 days? 40 days and 40 nights. B6, and then 40 days left, I think, is the left line. That goes at B6+. plus which would be my hardest send to date, but it's a short one, so it looks achievable. So yeah, I think step one, approaching a new project, is like warm up, <laughs> warm up on whatever moves you can. So on this one, it's short. I think we can probably reach some stuff that's like not the crux. So we'll just feel around for a while to get started, do whatever moves we can easily as part of the warm up. My first step is almost always to touch like every hold that I can feel from the ground. Check out my feet. Like right now I'm seeing like really good feet at the bottom of this thing. Nice, nice like foot ledge. For sure. Eventually that'll run out. What's your starting hold? Yeah, what's this, the description? Wait, this another and first this. step. I think before all of this is probably like reading up on it and studying it in Mountain Project. We like yeah. <laughs> to look at videos, comments, read, get as much perspective. We ask for beta. At least, like, yeah, we've never been much one for the on-site. We really haven't. I don't care. I, if no, I get a flash, I'm just as happy that's the same to yeah, me. Yeah, like, all the down low. Yeah. Okay, V6 Plus starts the same as 40 days and 40 nights, but then trends left after you're under the lip, grabbing an amazing left-hand side pull. 40 days and 40 nights says start sitting with a good left-hand side pull. Yep. And a sloping slot for your right hand. Yeah. Right here. Head up and right over the lip to a very committing mantle. But the other one says start the same. And then at the lip. But you then at the lip left. you traverse left into this good, which one's pretty the good, good hold, hold here. There. This one. Right here. Oh my god. I don't know. Maybe it feel different with like rubber shoes on the wall. Yeah. That's another thing I do. I normally start in my comfy shoes as part of the warm-up. And then like when you're getting ready for Sengos on the project, it gives you like a little bit of confidence boost. If you go to like the more aggressive or the more like sun shoe, you know? I just don't have good shoes anymore. <laughs> I just so have I no just motivation. continue to wear these crappy pair of shoes. To boulder in my... I eventually like, need to upgrade probably gross. within the next month. My toes are like yeah, almost same. gone on both pairs of my shoes. Yeah. Climbing outside, you just fly through shoes if you're trying to keep them top, you know? Well, yeah. my you have like 10 like sessions year. outside and then they're kind of like, <laughs> not the best 10 anymore. sessions. Well, maybe more, but like. This happened to my other pair too. Same, recall. same spot too. I guess I'm yanking too hard there. So we're doing Trevor's method, feeling around all the holes I can. Get a little warmed up, see how they feel. Identifying the crux early is a good like step number two. It certainly seems like here to there is going to be the crux, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be okay, I think. It's the next part. Ah, oh, you're doing fuck. <laughs> ah. So it was here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you just drag a toe up. Yeah, to launch. Yeah. Oh. So I did step one, feel all the holds via Trevor's beta. Red Mountain Project, right, via Caroline's beta. I just tried from the start and identified the crux. So now I think the next step for me would be to do the top out. I'm gonna see Caroline's start beta. I have to do some micro foot beta after I'm here. Okay. Over there. Nice. Good move. I'm over I am. That was hard to visualize. I did grab the good part of that. It's so sad, so. You caught that move really nicely. Oh, okay. The next step would be to do the top out. I always do the top out almost like when I'm before going before for like, like going go for like a hard move, especially if I'm trying to yeah. warm up. Yeah.
little bit better. It's like good blocky pinch. Yeah, yeah, dude. Now you're there. Press that right hand. Put that right hand down and press it. <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah. I didn't want to do it over one. My body was telling me I was going to fall. But it was fine. Yeah. Hey, nice work, dude. Man. Okay, yeah, the top out's not, not the crux. Now add two moves to that. Right. The hardest one, but yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I think that you did the hardest move in that seat. That, that big one up to the... Yeah, up to the left hand, yeah. And that, in my opinion, I think that's the hardest move, so you didn't want to trust that right hand. To release the right hand to go into the drop position, I like kept thinking my left foot was going to blow. Yeah. And ultimately, I was like, if it does, I'm fine. We'll just go. You know? <laughs> and it didn't. Yeah. Top out complete. So now I've got He's all got the holes two felt. moves left to get. I've got the crux identified and sort of done in isolation. And I've got it topped out. So ideally, a good rest and some sengos. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's like a mini prod, maybe. Nice. Mm -hmm. OK, so I need to be higher. Dude, how in the hell? I'll be so stretched out from No. No. <laughs> Hit the tippy toe stance, you know? I don't know what to do you know? my right foot, though. Tippy toes and my core is tight to the wall. See, after watching you especially, babe, like this definitely is like the taller you are, the easier this folder is, I think. That was close. My knee I mean, though. That was pretty good. Every time. I'm gonna have a black knee. <laughs> I mean, it's no but different like, than you just going there? about your life. I feel like you always have black knees for like no reason. Or like bruised knees. I'm always like, how do you do that? Rachel's like that too. Her thigh will bruise from like an apple falling on it off the countertop <laughs> or something. You know? <laughs> Me and Ryan have had this conversation about Wendy too, so it's funny. It's like yeah. all of our women. Bruise easily, they're like peaches, you know. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> I feel like the low foot's better. You know, is your knee going left or is your knee going right? Which, uh, my left leg or my yeah, right? Yeah, left leg. Where is your left foot, Justin? Is it past that little block? My left is right on there? the left side yeah. of this, I believe. Mm, okay. So like that's right that's and I think right that, in that corner. That's probably the only realistic spot I can be. That's what, the, like, I can barely get the thumb catch. So, right. I can't right be at the here. End of your stretch. It's a good thing it's a good hold. Right. Because if it wasn't, you'd well, be right at the end of your stretch I mean, and you just get risk, stuck right there, you I, know? I, it's going to be really hard for me to make it a good hold because without the thumb catch, you're like grabbing it like a Yeah, you need pocket. the thumb. I wouldn't be able to catch <laughs> dynamically without the thumb, right, I don't think. So, it's, it's a good hold, but if you can grab the whole thing. Like a left foot, like twisted down and left, posting you up on the rock, and like a right foot heel toe cammed up in that starting hold or something. In my head, like it kind of makes sense, but. Maybe. Like I'm just wondering if you get in a good position on that, kind of locking you in, can you then bump the left hand through these series of crimps to like stand up and into that thing off of like a worse left foot? Yeah. Higher but worse left foot. Getting the heel toe there seems hard. Yeah, probably as far left as you can get your heel, but then yeah, just wherever it feels and twists in. Oh. Doesn't seem to be helping her. Yeah, in the right to... spot though, your, your left foot was like way over there. It's anywhere that's directly under your hips to post up the weight, basically. If you want the left leg to be like taking a lot of the weight, the right leg is keeping you in on the rock. I don't know if I could realistically like do that in that yeah. overhang, you know? Yeah. I can do it seated, but, and then pulled myself into it, but I don't think, you try it. From up there. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it works. Your foot was right, right here. And just, that's no, where no. I just put it. But I, yeah. But mind. she still thinks the reach will be an issue. Yeah, but I'm on my tippy toes and you're like, Curl. is that in? Yeah, it is. Can you get your left foot up? There you that go. That doesn't feel good. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, you try it. All right, I just smart did. ass, I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> the last time you said that, he did it first try. So. I mean, just because yeah. you can do it doesn't mean it feels better. I don't know, bringing my foot up made me feel like I was losing my heel toe cam a little bit. Like, well, you got to really like, lock that heel work. toe cam. Yeah, that looks too.
too high for you guys. Yeah, this is a little awkward. Ah. Whoa, I have a different box than you. I'm gonna start banging my knees and elbows on my foot in the hell is happening. I can't I, just stand up and reach that, I think. That's right. the problem. Dun, dun, dun. And I also keep thinking of like this. Not terrible. I feel a little bit like limited. Yeah. When I go in there. And like I need all my stretch. No. That crimp's not it. Because it's not gonna be static. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so if you have to go dynamic, doing it on that crimp is horrible. Yeah. I guess that would not actually. How's it going? She's hard. I got the first three moves, but then suddenly it just becomes like a 45 degree, like no feet incline. I think this part of projecting I call the beta debates. You lose so much power when you're stretched. Yeah, that's you know? true. And so sometimes it's like just have, being able to have a little bit of bend and not be starfished out. Like. <sighs> hmm. The dino seems so desperate right now. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't think about the toe. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Also, I don't want to use excuses, but like, I did go hard in the gym. Well, I was able to put my hand on the crimp. And I just like, am suddenly like, all the way under this thing. And I'm just like, shit. <laughs> Get her off, she's got caption. <laughs> and then we like, press the throttle and fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just wheel spin. Now to pop up some figure out how to get here to this beautiful crown. Like you should feel this thing, it's like really in cut. Anything you're doing different here knowing that it's probably gonna be like a multi-session. Just si singling out moves, singling okay. out like, like I started at the bottom because I only had these two pads over here. So I just like was messing around with that. But then I'll start singling out this move next. Okay. And if I can do it from here to the top, then I know like this is my crux. And right. like whatever two moves I need to add to that, that'll be that'll be it. But yeah, okay. I see. I have to figure out a way to get my left hand here, no matter what. Maybe. That's a pretty minimal crimp. I know. It's like the only way to get. I don't have the. You can see. I don't know. I feel like maybe I do actually. Like if your chest is against the wall. Yeah. Like if maybe. I'm like tight as hell, but. But it like, will be a far stretch. And like coming and out then, of that, yeah, you like know? Coming, exactly. I'd like to try the, this next move, like, cause I can start right here. At the very least, I can get up to that crank and then just drop down if I'm sketched out. Yeah, not the best landing back there. Not if not for the top out. Not worth like falling an extra 10 feet into the brush and then falling down the hill like another 10 feet too. But we'll see, if I like grab a fucking fat jug up there, right. you know what I mean? Like, and once I had Lolita all the way put together from all the easy parts, I was like, okay, now I have two moves left to put together. Lolita with an L. Yep. It was Trevor's recent second V9, is that right? Yep, yep. second, second V9. V9. Not bad, dude. If I hadn't done the top out before, there's no way on that sin burn I would have tried it. I would have been like, this is way too sketchy. And then bop down. So it was nice that I broke it down. By the time I'm through the crux, I'm ready for the rest of the boulder. Yeah. So V9 and V10 is his new project grade. And uh, Caroline and I are still working on the sixes. Well, Caroline's passing me up too. Seven. Eight any day. It's bullshit. <laughs> Why is everybody passing me? <laughs> I just gotta stop hanging out with strong people, you know? <laughs> I feel better about myself if I hang out with like. Hmm.
Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Put that in the <laughs> I know, I will. We'll see if he watches. Do most of your generating left and then just jump off the left foot. Hmm. It looks pretty uh, violent. <laughs> That's me jumping off the left foot. Yeah. Which is the closest I've gotten to touching the wall. I see. Progress then. I mean, <laughs> you gotta take your micro progress when you're projecting. Right. That's another tip, right? Set yourself micro goals and take the progress that you get. I think I'm ready for a sun go, if you don't mind. I will do it. Me. Thank you, sir. Yes, take the micro progress. The micro. Not everything will go in the first session. Yeah. Nice, Justin, come on. Nice, dude, yeah. Yeah, you're there. Yep, right foot up. There you go, bro, yeah, swing that foot through. Nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah, get up to that good pinch. Nice, dude. Yeah, go to a press. Keep that, yeah, keep that. Press it out. Nice, dude, yes. Ew. Nice. Sweet. There you go. And that's how you project, easy. <laughs> there you go. Six plus, my hardest grade ever. Like, I don't think that's the hardest boulder dude, you've I ever sent. It looks so much more chill, and like, you've got a whole ass foot, like, toe press, like, bent, you know? And I'm like, dude. Yeah, I know, it really is height dependent. Some boulders are height dependent. And I would say that this boulder is one, as we can see, Caroline's struggling a little bit with it. Stretchier move. And then, you know, for me, it's a flash. And for Justin, it's a, it's a day, day single, sesh. Single sesh. For like yeah. an hour and a half, right? Or yeah, however dude, long we've great. been By here. By the time I was like fully warmed up, it's pretty much like first or second sengo, right? Yeah, so. nice work, dude. Thanks, man. Um, appreciate it. You're yeah. climbing at your limit. So come up with no expectations and just feel every hold. Do the top out if it's possible. Make sure that feels solid and start piecing it together. Like today, first session, all but like two or three moves. I guess I would say like, don't rush it. You know, today it happened to like, to not be a project. I didn't know coming into it if it would be a project or not, right? But based on the grade, it normally would have been. Pick a boulder to project that you like working on. Cause yeah. then it's not so bad to come back four or five sessions. I don't feel rushed and more likely to hurt myself or like do something when I'm not ready for it. Just kind of take my time and take a few sessions and I enjoy it. I like would rather like enjoy a boulder a little bit more than just like, you know, try really, really hard to send it on like the first session. Give yourself more rest days yeah. <laughs> and have low expectations on day three. <laughs> Sometimes you surprise yourself and you send something and other times you have something to come back to and other times you're like, uh, this one was beach. <laughs>